Hey guys, I'm Jules. Thank you for coming back to another weekly cross-stitching update. Uh, I appreciate you coming back. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, some new listings in my store, some current progress, some things that I am cross-stitching, and uh, I think that's, that's, that's about it. It's not a whole lot going on um, other than just life, which is crazy enough as it is. Um, so, what should we do first? Let's talk about... Um, Let's talk about the store real quick. Uh, let me just get that out of the way. I've got three, I think three new designs since the last time I was on the store. I went ahead and did the cyclist in um, some other different colors. I've got blue and red now. This is the blue. And uh, so if you guys were thinking about doing the cyclist, it's 181 by 356. Um, it's now in a couple of different shades. If you have somebody in your life that likes cycling, it only uses like 12 colors, so it's pretty straightforward. Um, I've got another, i got a vintage one. I call it Angel Girl. I'm not really sure. If, it's not a terribly descriptive one, but that is that is her. And she's a 180 by 350. It seems to be a common dimension for me as far as stitch count. Um, but uh, this one is, I want to say this one's about 50 colors or so, 50, 60 max. And, uh, but I really, really am happy with uh, the way it came out stitched. Um, it looks really good. So it's not a full coverage piece. So what you see around her is not stitched. So this light color. So you could do it in any color fabric you want. So there's that one. And then this is the one though, guys. I was like, I love it. It's a new monochrome piece. And I will stitch this at one point. But right now I got, I got too many others to stitch. But I call it the sleeping cat. So... Monochrome. So basically, it's black thread on white fabric. Uh, it's a little bit bigger. It's 358 by 195. So it's 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 wide instead of being tall. And uh, but yeah, it's just everything you see that stitched is actually just black or whatever color you want to make it. I mean, you could make her or him uh, all different colors if you wanted, but. That's pretty much it. I think it's about 17,000 stitches, and that is a little bit, it's a little bit more stitching than my Raising the Flag project. So, uh, but anyway, so it's available in the store right now. It's both a physical download and a digital download. Let me show you progress. Where is, it just fell off the other side of the thing. Um, hold on, pause. I'm paused. Um, all right, so let me show you a little bit. I can't remember if I actually got to Rainy Waterloo this week. I tell you what, guys, the days fly by. The days for me just fly by. Even when I have a weekend off, they fly by. It's it's ridiculous how fast I, everything goes. I also have, um, I want to show you Reaper. Actually, I'm going to show you Raising the Flag first, and then I'm going to show you Reaper that I worked on. And those are the ones that I worked on. And then I want to talk to you guys real quick about Boba Fett because I had a lot of comments about stopping it, not, not stopping it, whatnot. But let me show you where we are with a couple more thousand stitches on Raising the Flag. And this is another one of my monochrome designs that are on Etsy now. Make sure that I get everything unrolled for you. All right. So there we go. So, yep, coming together. Coming together pretty well. So I still have on the on this side. So down here, you can see where the pattern ends down there. So you can see how much more stitching I have left. But um, it's not terribly big. You know, it's some, about 17,000 stitches. So it's not terribly big. But it's coming in really nicely. I'm loving it. It's looking really, really good. Um, and I'm trying to just get more and more done all the time as I can. So I showed you that. But now I want to show you Reaper real quick. Because I finally got the stitching back on the roller frame. And I wanted to just real quick point out, some people had asked me before, like, what am I stitching on if they miss my roller frame videos? So this is called a roller frame. And literally its name is like right there. And uh, there's a gentleman that makes these by hand. And um, he's the only one that does this. And these are pretty cool little devices. Um, and I also got the frame that the, the sidebars, the roll, the roller frames, the roll bars um, that come with this. Um, and I got all this stuff from a stitching shop and I'm um, just waiting on uh, 
some some more things to get. But I think uh, Christine told me from a stitching shop that they were getting in some more accessories and stuff soon. Uh, so if you're looking for uh, roll bars, in bars, anything, sidebars, whatever bars, um, give her a call because they're hard to find right now. They really are. But what I did with um, Reaper was I went ahead this week and I just rolled the um, the design down uh, to the next sort of the next area because uh, I had already done I had done enough here that I was I was ready to expose this bottom part of the pattern down here. So I've just moved it down. I I can come down another probably 20, 20 uh, stitches basically and just fill all this area in. But I'm not that far away. If you look at on this side and then you turn it over, that's the end right there. So not that far away from getting this row done all the way to the to the end, and then I can begin on the the middle section here. And I had originally thought that I would um, like do the face last, uh, but I don't know how reasonable that is. Um, we'll we'll see, we'll see. I just need to do stitches in this. So I don't know if you can tell that I actually got more stitching done. Um, last time I kind of had ended it and it was up here. So I moved down with this, moved down over here. Um, and I've just moved into that next row and I really wanted to just stitch down a little bit further and a little bit further, but, um, that's, that's sort of the next thing. Um, these are the little tension band, um, uh, fabric tensioners, side tensioners. And, uh, I bought these off of Etsy. Um, you can just do a search. I can't remember who it was that I bought them, another store that I bought them from, but, they're pretty good. And you'll probably look at them and go, you, you're doing it wrong. And I probably am, but you know what? It still works right now. So I'm all cool with that. But so yeah, so, and you can see where I actually have a little bit of a dirt stain. I think I, I think this thing fell on the ground or not fell on the ground, but I think it was leaning up against something. And so there's like this dirt mark that's going through it and that's fine. That'll wash off when we get to that point, that part. So but anyway, so there's that, and uh, ah, get in there. So I, I'm back to working on that, and then I wanted to show you Boba real quick because, oh man, you know what? And I was going to show you the picture of Boba, just so you guys can see what it is that Boba's supposed to look like. So when you guys say that you can see Boba Fett, Yes, you can see Boba Fett, but the thing is, is that there are designs within the design that are supposed to be coming through, and they're not really coming through, and I'm not going to be able to find them. Oh, I found Reaper, though. Come here, Reaper. Come here, Reaper. So that's, that's the Reaper. So that's what I'm working on with that one, but... Let me just look real quick. I should have done this beforehand, but I forgot, of course. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to, uh, yeah, yeah. Boy, I got a lot of little patterns I need to work on. Holy cow. I just got a lot, period, to do. That's okay. I like having things to do. But anyway, so when I show you Boba Fett again, where Boba? So like there's supposed to be like ships that kind of appear and, and maybe and maybe they are appearing in there and I'm just not giving myself enough time. So I'm not going to put very much time into it, but I'll probably not toss it. I'll probably, um, and not that I would toss it, but set it aside. I'll, I'll try to do a little bit here and there and see how it goes, but I don't know. Oh, there's so many things to stitch. Um, outside of that can't believe the birds have been quiet and I don't have them covered right now, but they're being totally quiet. Um, but yeah, so I am streaming tomorrow morning, Thursday morning. I'll be streaming, um, uh, and stitching and, uh, we'll see what I'm doing. I don't know. Maybe I'll do, I don't know. I, I, I it just depends on when I wake up, like what I feel like stitching that day, but tomorrow needs to be like, a. I need to stitch a lot. I need some, I need relaxation to relax and be relaxed. And I need to stitch. I do need to stitch. So uh, outside of that, it's busy. So um, thanks again for people going to the Etsy store and checking it out. There's like, there's got to be a, like 25 different patterns that are on there right now. But I put some, I got some Halloween's, Halloween ones up. And I think I even have one or two Christmas ones that are up as well. So, um, but yeah, so I'm just having fun experimenting and uh, figuring out what works, what doesn't work. So uh, I can usually get 
two or three done a week uh, sort of thing. So I'll probably um, always put up you know new designs all the time just because it's fun and uh, it's a creative part of me that I really like. But I gotta tell you, I am gonna do this. My husband kind of fell in love with this sleeping cat, so he's a cat person. Um, and a dog person, but he loves this one, so I'm going to have to stitch that one at some point. But outside of that, I think we're good. Um, thank you guys so much for all the support, and uh, I really appreciate you watching my video and uh, leaving me comments and, and just everything. So if uh, you have any questions about anything, shoot me a line. Um, you can, uh, there's a, a, all kinds of things on my blog, stitchingjewels.com. That you can go check out as well. There's a lot of cross stitch references on there. There's a lot of cross stitch uh, designer pages. Uh, there's a lot of floss tube, other floss tubes. You know, there's over 800 different floss tube channels. Um, eh, people with cross stitch on on YouTube. There's over 800 of them, and I have them all listed on my website. So if you go to stitchingjewels.com and actually um, click on cross stitch, and then go to the list of floss tube channels. Uh, it'll take you through all those and there's just so many people to find on there. It's really insane. So uh, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for uh, watching and I will see you guys tomorrow on the stream. Otherwise, um, I'm sorry for the lateness of I, two weeks ago. I didn't put a stitch with me on. Pfft, totally forgot. Uh, just busy. Totally forgot. Um, and last week I got my Stitch With Me video on far too late. I'm going to try and correct that this week, get it on a little earlier for those of you guys who like that. And, um, yeah, we'll see what we can do. Take care. Happy stitching. Stay safe. And I'll see you soon.